Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a new iPhone case review for the iPhone 6 Plus. As you can see it's a little more rugged. Come on in. Let's take a peek. Once again welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so today's review uh, is on an iPhone case that I was sent over by Nutrent um, called the Trentium 6L rugged case for the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, it is, according to the box, uh, shock resistant, durable material, water resistant, and with a switchable cover. Uh, biggest benefit of this case that I've actually found uh, fits very much like an outer box, to be honest, uh, and has three different colors included with one package. So, you want you a person that changes your mind, or you just want to make sure it matches your outfit, or whichever. It's all three different colors, black, silver, and gold, all in the box. So it's completely changeable, and I'll show you how that gets done here in a moment. Um, but yeah, well, let's come on in. Let's, let's change views. So here is my iPhone 6 Plus inside the new Trent case with the black cover on it. Um, this is the case that I've, the cover that I've been doing most of my testing with is just the black cover. Um, I'm going to ahead and just pull out the... the package contents which has the other co colors in here. I've, all, I've switched them out once just to check them out and then I stuck them back in the bag. One thing that I will say, this one has a screen protector built into the case just like the OtterBox Defender. Not near as thick as the Defender though so it's very similar to um, like a, a symmetry case by OtterBox in terms of the size probably but it does have that included screen protector built in so you don't have to have a screen protector it's already built into the case. Another thing I do like is that there is a plastic cover over the little window here so if you're going to scratch the back you're not going to scratch the actual Apple logo on your phone which hey you never know some people will get, might get back you know kind of crazy on that one. The cutouts are nice and tight for both the camera and the flash. I uh, haven't had any problems with either of those. Power button is covered completely. The switch, the uh, volume rocker is covered, just plus or minus. The switch, however, you do have to pull open this little door to get to the switch, which I kind of wish they just had a little thing that went over the switch so you could do it from without removing anything. Uh, this is one of my other favorite parts is the covering of both the audio jack and the uh, uh, lightning connector. There are cutouts or little dot cutouts for the speaker as well as for the microphone which I haven't had any problem with audio, uh, which is one of those big things if you ever get a waterproof case that you have. Um, and the nice thing is, is they, I mean, they do give you, even with the, let me zoom in here a little bit, you can see that little rubber piece that's kind of sticking out there. So it actually jams into the, like the ports, same thing with the audio port, it has the exact same thing, a little thing that actually sticks into the actual audio port itself. So it's not just a door, um, which I had, used to have a commuter case from OtterBox and this eventually just kind of wears out but this actually goes into it so it's not going to just sit there and flop there. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, the other thing to to, uh, to notice is that in the, the speaker up here for actually listening there are a couple cutouts in the actual plastic you can kind of see there uh, so you're not going to, you can actually hear decently through even though there is a plastic covering over all of that as well. Uh, first thing I'll show you is how to remove the back which is right here. Uh, it's pretty simple actually. You just kind of pop just kind of like you're taking out the phone but you just take it off the back cover. So that is the back cover and then we uh, can change over to a different color. And before I do that I'm gonna actually pause for a second and uh, Turn off my furnace that just kicked on. Sorry about that folks, just one of those steps that I completely forgot to do. So that's the black cover and you can see they're pretty thin. Um, they are made out of a plastic material, a, kind of a harder plastic material than the rubberized uh, case itself, but uh, I'll pull out the other cases here. So this is the gold as well as the silver. So I'll just put the gold on because it definitely contrasts really good with the black in my opinion. And you just kind of just pop it on there just like you would pop a case on the actual phone itself. And once it's on, it sticks pretty dang good. And so now we have a black and gold case. Now of course it's not going to change the front. The front's going to be black and the sides are going to be black. But um, 
it definitely works pretty dang good. And the cutouts are all the same. There's no real change, just a different change in material. So let's pop that one off. And you can see the plastic window. Sorry about that. Plastic window they have there. Not paying attention where I'm lifting it to. And there we go. Now, all of a sudden, I have a silver and black case. Pretty cool that you can actually change it out. Now, the change out is definitely a neat feature. It's probably one of those things that, you know, to be honest, I get bored with cases. So it's probably something I would change, to be honest. Um, but my favorite part is how slender the case is, even with as protective as it is. Uh, this one does have ridges, so if you set your phone down, you're not going to scratch the, even though it, it does have a screen protector, you're not going to scratch that because it's laying down. Gives you a little more protection if it was to land at any of these edges. Um, I do really miss having a cover over my, with my current cases I've been using. Uh, because I do get a lot of lint buildup usually in this because I do keep it in my pocket and every so often I'll have to take a pin or, or something, a safety pin to get the lint out of the lightning connector because eventually it kind of blocks the, the port from going in and out so you don't can't even charge your phone. Uh, I'm going to actually take the phone out and kind of show you how it goes into the case well so you can kind of see how it's built. So just around the outside edges here, uh, it basically wraps around so I can get a little closer I can show you. You can kind of see where it just has that little leading edge that the rubber kind of pops into like a seal. I don't know if you can see that very well or not it's kind of hard to see. But you're basically popping it out and then eventually you can just lift out and then you can lift out the front basically the front bezel which is has the screen protector and everything attached. And then the phone I mean is loose inside here because what it actually does is it actually it, it's literally tied around here and then the back just kind of squeezes it into the front case and of course when you put the phone in you want to make sure and how it comes is there's you know a piece of plastic over this side and a piece of plastic over this side so the screen protector comes non-scratched and there's even another one over the little hole here um, because there is some adhesive material that makes it stick to the phone so it doesn't like when you're using the the touchpad and everything it doesn't you have that lift up feel so it does actually stick to the phone down here so if you tend to take change cases you're probably going to want to make sure you don't get uh lint and other debris on here if you take this off of your phone like i have it currently so that's one thing you can obviously see but um thickness you know obviously of course it's thicker than the phone but it is very 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 protective uh so I think Nutrix did a very good job, to be honest. So, that is my review of Nutrix Trentium 6L case for the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, for the money, it's under 20 bucks on Amazon. It does include free Prime shipping if you have a Prime account, but otherwise you may have to ch be a charge for shipping. I haven't checked to see if they have a free with not Prime, but I'm Prime, so... Um, Nutrent did send this over to me, full disclosure, so they did provide me the case, but unbiased, um, for the price, 18, under 19 bucks, not bad for three different color case that you would actually get. So, uh, check them out. Uh, I'm going to post the links to Nutrent as well as to Amazon, where I actually got it from, where they sent me over from, um, below. And if you have any questions or comments, please contact me right through, uh, YouTube or Facebook. Head over to facebook.com slash techgooch where I will be doing a giveaway and most likely this may actually be my next one to be honest. Um, I do like how it fits in my pocket though. So, You know, to be honest, no. We're going to do this as our next giveaway coming up in May. So in May, May 1st, is when we'll actually start doing the giveaway on the new Trent Trentium 6L. So check us out over on Facebook for that specific item. That said, you still have until the end of May to get the previous one. So check us out over there for our giveaways every month. I try to keep one going every month if I can now. As long as I get enough support on my channel to do it. So that said, thanks for checking us out. And we will see you next time. Peace.